Hey boys, before this video begins, I just want to let you guys know about another awesome deal that we have going on over on HumbleBundle.com. Just like we had the U4 deal a couple of months ago where for 20 bucks you could get U4 and every single DLC, we got the same thing this time for Cities Skylines. Personally, one of my favorite games of all time. I have more than 1500 hours in it, man, and it's another awesome Paradox Interactive published game. You can get City Skylines and every single DLC for just 20 bucks. That's a 250 $57 value for just 20 bucks and as always a portion of what you pay is donated to charity this time it's the Trevor Project and Charity Water and of course as always you can adjust your donation and choose how much to give to Paradox to charity to humble bundle or to me so check out the link in the description or in the pinned comment to get city skylines and every single dlc for just 20 bucks one of my favorite games of all time and i know you guys are gonna love it as well now let's move on with the video okay this isn't even funny anymore we're fighting six different coalitions at the same time pain Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in U4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, I have to clear up some misconceptions that were brought up in a video about a week ago. So when I dropped the Dahomey video, as you all know, I said the next nation is Delhi, but lots of you pointed out that Diviat also has unique national ideas, but I didn't play them. And you're right. And by the way, this is the list that I follow for A to Z is the national idea page on the EU4 wiki and this is the list that I go down on. Now here we are in the group national ideas page and as we can see Diviet does exist here because it does share its national ideas with two other nations that are actually releasable and don't exist in 1444. So some of you guys think that I should play them, some of you guys think that I shouldn't play them and honestly I'm in a dilemma too because I have already played nations with shared national ideas like Asa which shares them with Pasai, Austria which shares them with Styria, Bremen and Verden and nations like that so I have already played nations like that but I am skipping dive yet as well honestly I don't know this is the list that I'm following and in the next few weeks I'm gonna think about whether I'm gonna play dive yet or not or whether I'm gonna make playing a bunch of these guys a separate series as well so with that out of the way let's continue down the list as the nation of Desmond Desmond is a nation located in Ireland we start off as an Irish one province minor as you all know we got this 232 guy and Desmond has some really really good national ideas in my opinion we start off with plus 25% national manpower and garrison size. We got fort defense as an ambition, construction discount, stab discount, morale, CCR and province war score cost minus 10%, diplo relations, monthly war exhaustion and prestige, and admin tech discount. So a really, really good idea set for little Desmond over here. But what do we do as Desmond? Well, listen, we haven't played a pirate nation so far in A to Z. Lots of you guys are telling me to do so. Desmond has a black flag already, so why not hoist our already black flag as Desmond become a pirate? Republic and conquer the entirety of Ireland and Great Britain. And before we begin, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like, it really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more challenges like this or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Let's jump in as Desmond. Alright, alright, here we are as Desmond. We start off with 4k troops and a couple of boats. And of course, as you all know, we do already have the decision to hoist the black flag. That's right, we just need to stab up, make a bunch of light ships, tell them to privateer in the North Sea, and once once we get a 10% hold over the North Sea, that decision will be available to us. There's also a bonus that we start off with a level 1 center of trade, so we got that going for us as well. But first, let me do some estate stuff. Alright, alright, estate stuff done. Let's take a look at our force limit here. It is 6, but we do have a bunch of manpower. I like that. Let's sell this horse to take a dive in the sea right there. And uh, hmm, should I get a merc company or should I get troops? Listen, we already have that manpower, so why not go for troops? There we go right there. We got 7 light ships already which is pretty nice i'll keep around the transports as well and uh let me just well i can only build one apparently right our loans are three ducats exactly let me get an admiral then free siege by the way that's pretty awesome and let's tell him to protect trade actually no let's tell him to privateer in the north sea and yeah we got a free merchant let's tell him to collect in the english channel as well let's see if any nations will ally us and yeah we do have some irish miners that would ally us scotland doesn't really like us let me actually try scornfully insulting england right here and now we're closer to allying scotland so i will try and do that and i'll also start building a spy network on hmm i don't know moonster first maybe huh we can also get some rivals let's rival the guys that have 
rivaled us, like Munster, Leinster, and these guys that I'm not gonna try and pronounce. Sorry for my bad Irish names. And uh, no, a bunch of nations have already linked up with Scotland, so that's out of the question. We're on our own, boys. I'll actually tell this guy in the North Sea to uh, hostile trade so we can get the spy networks up faster. Now, I do think there's a hidden requirement on this to not own any non-coastal provinces, so I really can't fight Ormond right here. I mean, I'll get a claim on them anyway, right? But yeah, they're not a nation we can really fight. Let me spy on these guys over here. Oh, they're allied to Scotland, dude. I think we're just gonna have to go with Moonster here, man. And we can't even vassalize anyone because we can't have subjects. So yeah, let me prep for this first war here. The free company is 19 ducats. Yeah, sure, I'll take out a couple of more loans. Let's get the free company up and running too. It'll be after the ship, but that's fine, that's fine. And uh, let's see our ruler and heir. They both kind of suck, but I don't want to lose prestige. So uh, let's give them both milk command. Oh, <laughs> Thomas Fitzgerald, I love you, baby. Let's get it. And I am going to start improving with France right off the bat because it's pretty easy for Irish guys to ally France. And uh, yeah, man, I think we can get started with our conquests here by declaring on Munster and their ally to these guys. Can I co-belligerent these guys? Uh, not really. I'll leave it up for later. It is a level three fort. It is going to be annoying, but uh, let's take care of it. Well, that would have been a lot more annoying without the four siege guy. I did peace out Ormond here for money since I don't want to take an inland province. I don't know how that works. And uh, let's just full annex both of these guys. In fact, I am going to separate piece them because like, like that I'm gonna get more money and yeah let me piece out Moonster too boom there we go now we have a fort as well and we just need to build up some more light ships baby so where are the light ships here they are let's get at least one more for now we can add some new rivals uh let it be that light blue guy and let's core this up nice start uh who's Scotland allied to these two guys right not too important and England oh to Ulster and Leinster will they defend them oh they won't defend them because uh yeah they're losing to France so let me start spying on these guys too uh fun thing that uh, France can do here is they can make them release uh, Meath from Pale, from Dublin, which happened actually last time when we played as a... Who did we play as? Clan Record, right? Yeah. All right, let's move on with our wars. I'm going to declare on Turconnell here, and I am going to co-belligerent Ulster since England will defend them and their allies. So let's uh, go for that right away. Dude, I'm so blessed with this four siege guy, man. I'm loving these wars. <laughs> let me separate peace Ulster right here. There we go, another province. And let's peace out Draconal too and take their land. Of course, it does say we're gonna go bankrupt. It's not really true since we're good on money. I can pay off a bunch of loans now. Boom, 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 boom. There we go, paid off a bunch of loans. Now we're good, baby. You know what it is. A, still not bad. Nice. Hey, would you look at that? <laughs> these guys did just pop out. <laughs> just as I thought, man. Thank you, France, for once again doing that. And man, they decimated England, dude. They took everything in the mainland and they made them pop out meat. Uh, I was spying on England preemptively so I can get a claim on this province, but uh, I guess that's useless and now I have to spy on these guys. And I don't think France will keep their guarantee over them. They should cancel it. Of course, we are taking out big loans to pay off small loans. Now we can take new burger loans, which are with even less interest, to pay off slightly bigger loans like the 10 ducat ones. And it's super easy to get out of, a, you know, a bankruptcy type situation when you start off with such tiny loans and uh, you get the big ones. Now, France did cancel their guarantee over Meath, but unfortunately, they got declared on by Leinster right away before I could even build up a spy network. So, uh, how are we gonna get around this? Would England defend now? They would. And they're also allied to who? To these guys? Ah, uh, they're also allied to England, so we won't be able to nab this province. At least England doesn't have it, so we're good. A new champion of the joust, just as our heir died? This man must lead our armies. Let's see him. Ah, uh, I like the four siege guy better. <laughs> Another good thing is, France is willing to ally us now. Hello, France. Uh, I love you. You know, I remember when the Irish miners used to be hard. Or maybe I sucked at you for back then? I don't know. I think I still suck. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> let's not get too bogged down with that, though, and let's declare on these guys right here. Actually, no, not those guys. Clan Ricard. And uh, can I co-belligerent Thomond? No, because then Scotland and Ormond would join. So let's uh, let's get a move on. I am Miltech 4, by the way, as well. So these guys aren't easy. Aw, oh, man, my ruler died. I lost two stab. All right, easy dub right there, man. Let's take these two provinces. And with that, I think we're done with expanding for now because we do have seven provinces right and if we take no so it's less than seven. Oh my god <laughs> it disappeared it disappeared we need to give back one of these uh i think i am just gonna return this to clan record there we go we should get the decision back now yeah there it is i mean all right at least we got this right now we gotta focus on building up light ships to get 10 percent trade power in here pirates already wielded 11 actually so hold up is that me huh desmond privateers have at least 10 percent trade power can i see it in here hmm i need more lights yeah i need more lights still 
And actually, there it is. We do control 10% of the trade power with our own privateers. It took 15 light ships. And now we just need to stab up twice to be able to take that decision. Oh man, we're gonna be so behind on Amentech, dude. And yeah, I did get events that stabbed me up to two, exactly. But then my ruler died when he was in charge of an army. But yeah, I am gonna do it. And ladies and gentlemen, let's accomplish the first part of our goal and hoist the black flag. Boom, there we go. There we go. The Buccaneers, the you know what it is. Buccaneers, smugglers, captains. And ladies and gentlemen, we're a tier one Pirate Republic Gov Reform. Plus 50% naval force limit, minus one yearly Republic tradition. We can raid and stuff like that. Chance to capture enemy ships. States governing cost, plus 75%, which is uh, kind of stupid. But hey, it is what it is. So let's take uh, all those light ships and uh, go raiding, baby. I could have sworn there was a pirate naval doctrine. I guess I'm wrong. What do we go with here? Ship trade power or galley combat? Let's go with, uh, hmm. We do already have chance to capture enemy ships plus 33%. So maybe we should lean into the head and make it plus 66. <laughs> but yeah, man, with all those raids, I paid off all my loans and we don't have any loans no more. So we can continue fighting these guys over here. Uh, who do we declare on? Sligo or whatever it is? Co-belligerent these guys? No, not co-belligerent them. So yeah, let me get my free company back if I can. Uh, I don't think I can. And these other guys are expensive. Hmm, maybe I can just buff up my regular army. Now, what is this? Bankruptcy looming. I'm losing 89 ducats each month. I'm not. What is this? I'm I'm not about to go bankrupt. I, I don't have any loans. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> I've never seen that bug, dude. <laughs> yeah, let's get a move on. Let's get a move on. Who am I fighting? Ah, uh, ah, oh, no. I can't take this. <laughs> no. Oh, wait just a minute here. Leinster, right? They're allied to England, so I can't fight them. And right now they're fighting Ormond, but no one is sieging it. So if I fight these guys and vassalize them, I'll be in a defensive war with Leinster, which means I won't have to fight England. Yes, yes. My genius knows no bounds. Let's declare on Ormond. Okay, Ormond is down. Let's vassalize them. And now we'll be in a defensive war with Leinster. Yeah. Hey, both wars are done. Let's annex these boys. And let's annex Leinster too. They own two provinces. Haha, <laughs> big boys. Look at these guys, man. And uh, yeah, Ormond is my vassal now. Scotland is allied to this nation. And England is allied to this nation. So uh, it's going to be hard conquering these guys. But it's actually going to be good for us when we fight this nation. Because we can fight Scotland like that too. Without getting involved with France. Because Scotland is also allied with France. Looking good so far, baby. First pirate nation in A to Z. There's a first time for everything. Chance to capture enemy ships seems to be working well. <laughs> ah, light ship two. <laughs> I've never seen that, dude. Lightship 3? I've never seen those names. All right, I spied on Clan Ricard again because I lost my claim because I released them. So let's finish them off. Looks like Burgundy lost the Burgundy-Liege war and now they're losing to France as well. And this is done as well. Let's full annex these boys. Awesome. And I think our next war is with these guys over here where we're also going to have to fight Scotland. Let me take this mission too. And uh, yeah, now I just need to buff up to be able to be strong enough to beat Scotland. Let's take a look at their actual ships. All right, so they got a bunch of lights as well. No galleys either, but they do have more transports than me. Uh, What do I need here? I probably need like five galleys to beat them, if I'm being honest. We got big loans now. I'm not afraid to take more. Uh, Yeah, let's get one, two, three, four, five. Actually, let's get more. Six. Yeah, six galleys. Let's go for it, baby. Tier two governor form time. I've literally never seen these in my life. Just kidding, I have, but I have no idea what they do. So council of captains, privateer efficiency and the captain's influence, sailors, Republican tradition and buccaneers influence, and trade power abroad and smugglers influence. Obviously, we're going to take council of the captains here for privateer efficiency plus 33%. Now, the captains are already super influential since I am raiding and stuff like that. So that bumped them up quite a lot. But um, yeah, they're pretty good. They gave me sailors and Republican tradition. The smugglers are pretty good. Good, uh too though so i might swap to them later when we're bigger sorry for no strength and noble privileges man i would have almost gotten it but i got an event where it was either lose stab or lose gov reform progress and i chose to lose 25 gov reform progress sorry first idea group time i wonder if we have any piratical ideas we don't but pluto is super nice uh for republics and stuff like this so yeah i will be going with pluto as an opener for sure and yeah, man, I think we're good to go here, declaring on this boy right here and fighting Scotland as well. We should have naval superiority and I will try and take at least these provinces right here from Scotland. Let's see how this goes. 
All right, I siege this down, and now I think I'm gonna get like one transport from here and leave it in the Irish Sea. And with these guys, I'm gonna go and beat up some uh, Scottish navies and stuff like that. There we go, and we can cross. All right, easy war, man, easy war. Let's take this province for ourselves. And like I said, I'm also gonna do ah, I can't take their capital. Can I do it if I separate piece them? I still can't. All right, never mind. So let's just do this right here. And I do want to make Scotland actually end their alliance with France. So I am gonna do it in a separate piece. Take these provinces uh, and alliance with France. There we go. No money, no war ups. I want to fight them soon. And let's go back and beat up these rebels. I captured so many ships, dude. What's our naval force limit? No, actually, we're good. Right. I almost forgot the piece. Uh, these guys out. <laughs> Looks like we got the France Liege war now. <laughs> oh my God. France actually won that war. They own stuff here. Here three cover form time, consolidation of power or frequent elections. We do want to go with frequent elections. Looks like France intervened in this war, man, uh, that England declared on Scotland. They must have intervened because they have no relations with Scotland. I made them the alliance, right? I wonder if this is a good time to declare on Offaly right here, or maybe even with England joining. But then again, I would have to fight Portugal. England actually just lost all their troops over here. No, wait, when did they get this? How did they get that? But th what I'm trying to say is they lost all their troops to a uh, battle with France right here. Hmm. Oh man, if they weren't allied to Portugal, dude, can we still do it, man? Their navies are probably still super powerful, though. They should have like six heavies at this point. Let's see. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, England lost that war. They lost a bunch of provinces here to France, and they looks like they just didn't do anything with Scotland, but Scotland is losing to Denmark right now, which is unfortunate. I am building even more galleys now with all this money I've gathered from uh, raiding, and I think after this, man, I'll try and hit uh, Offaly and England. Oh, or maybe not. I forgot I had this land here, which means they can occupy me. I thought I could just try and blockade them. Uh, France, of course, is in no way going to help out because now they have a truce with England. A pretty long one, too. But at least I can annex my vassal. Hey, I can like Denmark. They probably don't like England, right? Oh, an election. Uh, um, let's keep this guy. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna ally them. They might help with England, will they? Uh, it's about favors and fighting in another war. Oh, they'll help for sure after they finish their Scotland war. Let me curry favors. I didn't realize I don't have a truce with Scotland anymore, and good thing they didn't lose anything to Denmark, man. So, good job, Scotland, man. Let's take their capital. Uh, we can probably full annex them. Yeah, we can full annex them. Second idea group time. We gotta make more money somehow. Uh, does trade have a good combo with Pluto? Merchants and regiments costs. Okay, what about economic? Tax and Republican tradition? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go economic here. And there we go, the war with Scotland is done. So let's take this, 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 and this. And you guys know how I never take Shetland because it's not in Britain proper? Well, this time, we are gonna take it. Yes! Ha ha ha. Embrace the pirate lifestyle. Yes. Nice name placement. You know, it's so annoying to make the thumbnails when we're playing in Britain with because the name goes over the islands and we got these little blobs right here. Guys, it takes me like an hour to make the thumbnail for when we play in Britain, man, I swear. Actually, no, man, Scotland did lose to Denmark. I just noticed that they made them pop out man and the isles which already lost a province to england so scotland did kind of lose but denmark didn't take anything i need this to expire annex subjects before france and denmark are willing to help me with england they don't have truces with them anymore tier four gov reform time we got union of states for global trade power gov cap and state maintenance i do actually think man that uh state maintenance this game would be the best here let's take a look oh no this is just governing cost right yeah we definitely need uh what is is it administrative divisions all right boys both denmark and france would help me out versus england and their boys now we do have a oh, that's a big portugal man uh what are we gonna do here and a big tunis too what i'm hoping for is that they land in britain otherwise i think we're gonna be in trouble because they are miltech 7 i am miltech 6 this is because i'm working on a mill idea group so i haven't been uh, keeping up with tech that much which is uh a mistake on my part but Let's hope they land, man. We do have more than enough ships to beat them up. And let's just declare for Northumberland right here. Call on Denmark and France. Hopefully France will be able to deal with Portugal easily and then come to my aid. Uh, let's see what we can do here. We do have a lot more troops than them. Nope, took an L immediately. They came out of the shadows. I'm gonna have to retreat to Ireland here and hope that they can't cross until some of my boys can make it to Britain. Yeah, we have naval superiority, no doubt. Now I just need these guys to be smart enough to get here. Hey, I can finally own all of Ireland if I piece these guys out. Boom, there we go. Nice mission. Yes, unite the clans. Yes, beyond the pale. Yes. Ah, I'll take the morale from the Pope. I just got Miltech 7. Uh, I don't know if I can deal with both of these stacks, but I think I'll be able to be 
beat one of them. I was not able to beat one of them. Well, it was two of them. <laughs> well, we can knock Portugal out. Good job, France. Let me take war reps, make them end their lines with England, and cash as well. Sweet. Hey, wait, now maybe I can get a merc company with all this money I got? Hmm, what do we get here? They're all super expensive, huh? <laughs> Let's get the free company at least. Oh, wait, we can get one more. Well, I'm for sure gonna beat them with one more. Let's get the white company too. Oh, another step back. Now they're multi eight. Uh, this was for nothing. Yeah, they're just not landing, man. I mean, shout out to France for beating up Portugal and Denmark for beating up East Frisia, but I don't think I can take them here. We do have some progress here, boys. Yeah, and I think we gotta call it right here, man. I got completely stack wiped. At least my main army did. I got these heretics right here, a bunch of separatists that are actually super close to enforcing demands, and I think this is as much as we can get. Unfortunately, my allies didn't land. 56% war score. It's gonna have to be enough, and and this time I'm not releasing any vassals because we always do that. So I'm going to take this right here and I'm going to get war reps from England as well. Actually, I'd rather have war reps than at least one plus province. And let's do that. Ooh, okay, very difficult war, boys. We got to deal with these separatists now. But hey, at least we took down England once. And if we did it once and we were so weak, we can do it again. If I did have Miltek 8 just like them, this would have been easy. But they were always a tech ahead of me. All right, thanks to some nicer raids we did, we can uh, at least straighten our nation out financially but the problem is now I don't have any manpower no professionalism either to get some manpower so I'm very slowly building up my army over here but we're looking good man as soon as we core this up lower some more autonomy elsewhere like yeah there we go autonomy will keep climbing if our crownland is low but actually wait we don't have crownland we don't even have estates that's another problem that's why we're a little weaker too these uh the factions they're not too good let me uh let me get the smugglers in power though there we go. We might as well go deal with the Isles here. They're just one province. They don't have any allies. I'll just send in my free company and get this done with. Yeah, easy. As expected, boys, as expected. The Outer Hebrides are ours. Here, five gov reform time, and we do have some cool ones here. The presidential system, institution embracement, lame. Was this naval leader fire, harsh treatment, captain's influence. An admiral becomes ruler when the current ruler dies. Interesting. Ship building time, years of separatism. Hey, future Hawk here from the editing workstation. And yes, I am just now realizing that I didn't take the war against the world CB because I'm stupid and and I didn't read but but hey <laughs> I'm just as frustrated as you are baby A to Z you know what it is some buccaneers and what's this oh we got some merchant republic mechanics you know pirate king sounds the coolest so let's go with that wait what am I now what what got abolished oh I can only take this okay all right so my truce with England is up once again and Denmark and France would join once again and I don't think they'll land once again and once again <laughs> England has better Miltech than me ah it's gonna be a while before we get tech 9 uh, actually December 15 11 hmm. yeah I'm gonna wait until then I think and yeah it's almost December 15 11 so let's just go for it man what am I gonna declare for here what about Kester yes let's get it well, this war hasn't been easy at all. Once again, no help from my allies. Why did I even ally Denmark and France? At least France keeps beating up Portugal, but no help from Denmark whatsoever, man. Once again, taking on a lot of loans. Once again, not having any manpower. And uh, let me just quit while I'm ahead here, boys. It's a lot more difficult than in past runs as Ireland, man. But let me take these islands up here so they don't do anything from the north. And what do I have claims on? All right, all right. Maybe we can take the stuff we have claims on. They will give me this, even though I haven't occupied the fort. And uh, can we go for this as well? We can can will a coalition forum no not really and uh i think i am gonna take war reps from them too oh they won't give me war reps let's get some money then all right England's province war score cost is now 198, so I will still have to do two more wars with them. Now we can also take a new mission, conquer Wales, conquer the Highlands, conquer Scotland, excellent, and let's core this up, huh? Ah, uh, high war exhaustion. Let me actually bring it down first. I, I, I keep forgetting about man. But yeah, boys, right now we're just chilling, man. I'm building up my nation, upgrading some centers of trade, building an even grander armada in preparation for our final few wars with England. And of course, uh, I think I should break my lance with Denmark and France pretty soon after after all, we have nowhere to raid. We have to raid their coast and plunder, yes. I am having a problem with uh, GovCap, though. <laughs> Here, six government reform. We don't get here too often. Let's get the, I don't know, devolution of powers. All right, now that our boats are done, it's time to move along and fight England again, this time without Denmark and France because they're useless anyway. Am I right or am I right? So let's declare for Leicester. My navy is superior. Yes, we will be able to hold off the Portuguese fleet. When did they build this fort? It wasn't here two days ago, man. Called on France so they can knock out Portugal again. <laughs> Looks like they didn't lose anything in that uh, Ottoman war. Look at all these naval battles won. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Just France here is bringing down our average, but hey, we don't care. We can finally get rid of pesky little man here. Okay, and we finally peaced out Portugal. Thank you, France. Uh, I'm gonna take this from England. Yeah, sounds about right. 
Nice. Only one more war for East Anglia and uh, what what was this called down here? All right, West Sex. That's right. Looking good, baby. We're actually super behind on tech because of all the 411 guys that we got and 141 and, you know, the uh, Republic guys. Well, this seems like a perfect opportunity to not be allied to France anymore or Denmark or Denmark. Bye, guys. Well, man, Hungary got completely wiped off the map here. I, I know they get bullied every game if they don't get a if they don't become a junior partner on Austria, but this is just funny. Boys, I even have a coalition going, man. Holland is in a coalition against me. How wonderful. They're like the only nation that's mad along with England. <laughs> you know, this whole time I haven't even thought about forming Ireland. <laughs> we can totally do it. I, I just need Admin Tech 10. Pirate Ireland? Hmm. Well, let me move my trade capital to London. You know what, boys? I feel like we need to spice things up a little bit here, man. So why not, uh, Bruce Break England? <laughs> Ah, now the entirety of Europe will join a coalition against me. Excellent. Now this is classic A to Z, baby. Minus three stab, lots of loans, a looming disaster, coalitions. Ah, you know, we haven't had these things since I started playing uh, a little more seriously. I did miss them, though. My pirate princess. The infidels in Venice declared war upon us. Prepare for battle. They cite coalition as their CB. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Uh, I feel like another coalition is gonna form too. I mean, listen, we got so many ships, there's no way they're even gonna land on us. <laughs> the chance to capture enemy ships is so insane that I started this uh, war with 65 ships. Now I have 97. <laughs> My pirate princess, the rotten swine in Spain declared war upon us. Prepare for battle. They cite coalition as their CB. All right, so we're fighting two coalitions at the same time. <laughs> My pirate princess, the bastards in Austria declared war upon us. Prepare for battle. They site coalition as their CV. I still haven't lost a single battle, by the way, as you guys can see. <laughs> Admin Tech 10, we can take a new idea group. Uh, what's better, naval or maritime? Let's go with the naval. <laughs> Let's lean into it. <laughs> All right, after white piecing Portugal, I can wrap my war up with England. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have accomplished our goal of conquering the entirety of the Britain region. Yes, invade England, rule Britannia. Oh, this is boat stuff? Oh my god, I love it. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Uh, I have to peace out these coalitions, huh? <laughs> My pirate prince, the rotten swine in Hamburg declared war upon us. Prepare for battle. They cite coalition as their CB. Boys, we're literally fighting four different coalitions at the same time. I don't believe this, man. Is this an A to Z first? I think this is an A to Z first, ladies and gentlemen. Now, maybe you guys are getting sick of this, but, uh, <laughs> Saxa Lovenberg declared war on us. They cite coalition as their CB. Boys, it's not even funny anymore, man. We're fighting five different coalitions at the same time. Five! coalitions. Still not a single battle lost, by the way. Everyone here except for Venice is on low. <laughs> okay, this isn't even funny anymore. We're fighting six different coalitions at the same time. Pain. These fools have started sending me white peace offers. <laughs> Uh, wait, why can I separate peace people? Oh, it's because uh, Holland isn't in a coalition. They're just a regular ally. The Ottomans intervened on my side, dude. Look at the balls on these guys, man. I wonder in which war are they protecting me? Let's see right here. Ah, uh, they intervened in the Spain coalition. All right, all right. But we can peace out the Venice coalition. That's a decisive victory in my book. <laughs> Tier 7 got reform time. Let's go with... <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> we can also say goodbye to the Spanish coalition. Bye-bye. What about the Austrian one? <laughs> Not yet. And I automatically ended, like, two coalitions now, because we didn't have any battles, I guess? Yeah. And there we go, an automatic white piece with one more coalition. And now we can finally piece out the final coalition and declare victory. Yes, you can fight six coalitions at the same time and win. And with that, even though it wasn't our goal, ladies and gentlemen, we can form the Irish nation, take new ideas, and achieve naval supremacy as Pirate Ireland. But yeah, there you go, man. We started off as the tiny nation of Desmond, located in the province of Cork right here in Ireland, which is still our capital. We started slowly conquering some of these guys around us and privateering in the North Sea until we could become a pirate republic, which now we're a pirate kingdom, by the way. Shout out to Pirate King, Irish name that I'm not gonna try and pronounce. And after that, we moved on with our goal of conquering conquering the entirety of the region of Britain as a pirate republic. And we have accomplished that, ladies and gentlemen. First time playing a sort of a pirate nation in A to Z. And uh, honestly, man, it was a pretty quiet and slow campaign with struggles at times, mainly with manpower and money. But once we started gobbling up England, no one could stop us, baby. And at the end, after we truce broke England, the entirety of Europe joined in six different coalitions against us. And we managed to peace out Portugal and completely gobble up England, at least in uh, this region right here. They still got some provinces in mainland Europe. England in the HRE, question mark? No, but six 
different coalitions did form. I didn't lose a single battle against any of them, even though it was only naval battles. We started off with 65 ships when we declared on England, and now we have 166. So a uh, chance to capture enemy ships plus 66%, kind of insane. And we managed to white piece every single coalition, which in my book is a win, baby. You know what it is. But ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i'm happy to say that this campaign as desmond in a to z has been a success and that has been desmond in a to z let me know in the comments below what i should do with this nation next week if you want to watch me do stuff like this live you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the red hawk live and if you want to catch up on stuff from over there you can subscribe to the second channel link is in the description if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you want to see more challenges like this or more ufo videos in general definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on Anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.